Alright, so it's finally the colder season. I am very excited about it, but that also does mean that you need the right jackets because don't get me wrong, I love sweatshirts, I love hoodies, but even with those in your wardrobe, you definitely do need some good jackets. And if you have no idea which jackets to pick up, today I'm going to be going over these six best jackets that you need to pick up for the fall or winter. All right, so the first one is probably gonna be the most basic one, so that's why I'm gonna be getting it out the way. A zip up hoodie is definitely essential. Now, I think this is better for more of the fall rather than the winter because in the fall, it's cold, but it's not too cold. And when it comes to something like a zip up hoodie, it's a nice little jacket that you could throw on and you're gonna stay comfortable. You're gonna stay a little bit warm if it's not too cold outside. So I definitely do recommend picking one up. The one that I personally have is from Hollister, but I know plenty of other places sell them like Gap, Old Navy, even H&M has some really good ones. So I definitely recommend picking those up. Now these are also very versatile, so you can wear them a bunch of different ways. Like I said, I usually wear them when it's not too cold outside. So I would usually wear them with a shirt underneath or even by itself, just kind of quarter zip, like how I have my quarter zip right now but i've also seen some other people throw on a different type of jacket over it as well so you could definitely use it as a bottom piece as well but anyways the next jacket that i'm going to be going over is a jacket that i really don't see too often and i definitely recommend that you pick it up and that is going to be a worker jacket now the one that i got is from dickies but i ended up buying it from asos this one was definitely more on the pricey side however i think it's definitely worth the price so this is one of my more thicker jackets i could even wear it with like a thermal underneath and just a jacket on top and it's going to keep me warm so again it is a little bit pricey but that doesn't mean it's a bad pickup at all because this is something i'm going to be wearing either throughout the fall and the winter so i could wear it on both seasons it really doesn't matter now just in general like the whole worker aesthetic has definitely been more popular lately because things like cargo pants carpenter pants stuff like that that has been around through all of 2021 and i definitely do not think it's going to die out so when it comes to the more colder seasons you could wear something like a worker jacket with that if you like that aesthetic but either way this is something very versatile so you could stick to like the worker aesthetic or you could even throw it on with a normal casual outfit so it's some jeans and the worker jacket that's the way that i have been wearing it a lot of recently and like i said it's something underrated not a lot of people are going to be wearing stuff like this so my personal opinion i think underrated things are the best way to stand out and if you want more compliments or you want people to notice your outfits definitely buy some things that are going to make you stand out and the worker jacket is going to be exactly that the next one is going to be a corduroy sherpa jacket now this is a jacket that i always get compliments with every time i throw it on everyone notices it everyone asks me where i get it or just in general people like to talk to me about it and that's because this jacket is definitely one of my more nicer jackets just in general corduroy looks so good to me so I always throw this on and especially with the Sherpa lining that it has it's a good way to look good and stay warm at the same time and then of course when it comes to the fall I've said it so many times in the past that I love earth tones and brown is definitely one of my favorite shades when it comes to earth tones so the brown that the corduroy has definitely works great for the fall and like I said I'm gonna be wearing it in the winter as well because it's a really thick jacket so it's going to keep me warm throughout the entire colder seasons now again Again, this is another jacket that I picked up that's more on the pricey side, but there are definitely plenty of alternatives out there. So I got mine from Nordstrom. I want to say it was around $150 but I have seen very, very similar ones for around $50. I've seen them at Target, I've seen them even at Ross, which I've said in the past, the discount department stores is definitely a place that you should be shopping at if you want to buy nicer clothes for pretty much a fraction of the retail price. But if you want to invest in a nice high quality piece, you can definitely check out Nordstrom because I've had that jacket for nearly two years now and it still looks good. Anyways, the next jacket that's going to be perfect for these colder seasons is going to be a denim jacket. Now this piece is definitely more of a classic because pretty much everyone has a denim jacket and if you don't you're definitely missing out because like i said it's a staple piece in any man's wardrobe it looks good with pretty much anything the only downside to it is if you're just wearing a shirt and a denim jacket chances are you're probably still going to be a little bit cold so that's why i definitely recommend layering it with some more thicker pieces so maybe a hoodie again it all depends on your personal style and the weather outside because trust me even if you have a jacket that looks nice if it doesn't keep you warm there's no point of the jacket but one thing that i really like about denim jackets is they have them in so many different washes if you're the kind of person that likes a lot of black in their wardrobe they have black denim jackets but if you like to switch things up with a bunch of different colors they also have light wash ones they have dark wash ones they even have denim jackets that are a little bit distressed if you're into that whole aesthetic that's definitely a good option if you wanted to try them out i personally don't like my denim jackets too distressed but Again, that's just my personal opinion. So since it's non-distressed, it's just a clean denim jacket, I could dress this up or I could dress this down casually. That's another thing that I like about denim jackets, I could wear them in a more formal occasion. Again, it all depends on how you wear it. But anyways, 
I picked up mine from Forever 21. I can't remember the exact price, but it was definitely affordable. Considering I have seen Levi ones for around $95 or something around there, I can't really remember off the top of my head. Just know when it comes to brands like Levi's and they are more expensive, you're definitely getting what you pay for. So if you want to invest in some nicer quality pieces, I would check out Levi's. That's probably the next place I'm gonna pick up my denim jacket. But if you're like me, you're on a budget, definitely check out places like Forever 21, Target, or like I mentioned earlier, Ross. I've seen denim jackets at Ross for around $40. So right now I'm just kind of waiting to find one at Ross so I can get Levi's quality products for half the price. Anyways, the next jacket that I really recommend for these colder seasons is going to be a puffer jacket. Now, this one is probably one of the more underrated ones on the list as well. Even though I feel like a lot of people do talk about puffer jackets, I really don't see them too often. And maybe that's just because some people don't know how to style them, or maybe it's because usually they are kind of expensive. But the one that I have is from Calvin Klein. I like the gray color on it because it's very versatile. And I know I've mentioned discount department stores a lot throughout this video, but I picked up my Calvin Klein one from a discount department store. I can't remember if it was Ross or Marshalls, but it was one of those because the original price was around $90, but I ended up buying it for either $35 or $40. I can't really remember, but pretty much the point that I'm getting at, I paid half of what the actual retail price was. And this puffer jacket is definitely something that I have been wearing a lot of recently, and it's something that I will continue to wear throughout the entire fall or winter season. And I remember I wanted one for the longest, I just never got around to buying one. So if you're like me and you have been wanting one, Definitely recommend just stop waiting, just get one. Invest some money into some nice quality pieces that are gonna keep you warm and make you look good in the colder seasons. Because I remember when I was younger, I was so hesitant to buy some nice clothes that were gonna keep me warm throughout the fall and winter season. And when it came down to it, I was always cold. Even though I had nice clothes on, I still was always cold. So again, you have to find that nice balance of looking good while staying comfortable. And hopefully so far these jackets are doing exactly that. And then the next jacket that I'm gonna be recommending is going to be a suede jacket. Now the one that I have is lightweight i'm pretty sure most suede jackets are going to be lightweight so this is something that i really won't wear if it's too cold outside but if it's kind of a chilly night and you notice you want to throw on a jacket but you don't want something too thick this suede jacket is going to be exactly that now this one i picked up from banana republic which is a really underrated store most people haven't even checked out but this suede jacket is definitely something that i will wear in more formal occasions so that's why i really like it if i know i'm going to be going to some place a little bit nicer and i'm not trying to dress too casual for it and i'm also not trying to dress like i'm trying too hard to look dapper this suede jacket is probably my go-to one now i got it in the navy colorway because again i really like darker colors and navy is a good earth tone like i said in the fall it's just perfect but yeah a jacket like this is something that i would throw on with some boots maybe even some chinos so that way i'm looking good i'm dressing a little bit formal but not too much and again it's just a perfect jacket for the fall anyways those are the six jackets that i personally am going to be wearing all throughout the fall and winter and i definitely recommend that you pick these up so you could be doing the same exact thing but anyways let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments. And if you like the video, make sure to leave a like. If you haven't subscribed already in this channel, I simplify men's fashion. So make sure to do that. I'm going to leave a button for you to do that right here. And if you want to see more videos right away, here are a few that I think can really help you out. But anyways, other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Later.